doing the next video in my calculator playlist and I wanted to show how to do 3D functions on the TI Voyage 200. So on um, typically on graphing calculators you would um, let me go let me go into the the mode um, in this function mode which is kind of a misnomer but um, because the other modes are functions too but this is like the 2D graphing so you know say you have you know x squared or something like that and then you can graph that and it will graph y equals x squared but what about this is two dimensional of course what about three dimensions so you go mode go down to 3d and now see z is a function of x and y so let's do x squared plus y squared And we'll graph that. So you can see it needs to do some more calculation. It takes a little longer, of course. Let me zoom standard to start out with. <clears throat> okay, so there we go. So, and you can rotate by press, pressing these arrows. try to get a better idea of what it is. The calculator calls the angle that you're viewing at the eye, I believe. Let's do, um, um, it has some options for the format. I think it's here. Yeah, you can turn on the axes, like so. You can also turn on the axis like a box, which is interesting. And you can also change from wireframe to different types of options. I'm just going to show you this, the hidden surface. Let me turn off the uh, axes actually. So there you get the, the different shading of what's kind of inside and outside. And yeah, this, this, this option is the slowest because, you know, it has to, um, you know, quote, render. So there's a little more calculation involved and a little slower when you move stuff around. But I think from all these you can get the idea of what this, what this shape is. Just looks like kind of like an ice cream cone. Let me zoom in a little bit. Let me just do zoom fit. So yeah, with a 3D you have to recalculate every time, do the wireframe or the surface or the contour plot. There we go. That's a lot better, right, when we zoomed in. Let me try the contour plot and just see what it looks like. I actually haven't done that one in a while. You can do wire and contour and something called an implicit plot. Let's see what this one gives us. See the contour is taking a little while. But the contour can be very helpful if you have, especially if you have a complicated surface to try to understand it. Okay, so there you go, the contour plot for that, that uh, surface, that function. Okay, so that's all I got. Thanks for checking out this video, looking at um, 3D graphing on the TI Voyage 200. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.